यू नो पावर बी आई बट स्टिल यू हैव लॉट्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन इन योर माइंड हाउ डज इट हैपन वाई इट हैपन्स हाउ कैन आई डू दैट दिस इज द सीरीज फॉर यू सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन टू गेट द नोटिफिकेशन हेलो एंड वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो ऑफ एबस्ट्रेक्ट थी सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन यूज केस which i came across when i was solving the problem in the community that you know we have a data where you know a person is undergoing multiple tests and it has those values and we want to either get a min or max value but that's not only min and max value we would also like that that min and max value should be coming based on the filter so in this case when it is no it should not be come you know used for the filter now here this is there is a yes there is a no so no should not be considered here there is a no no should not be considered and then if there is only a no then it should remain a blank now there is a yes it will give the min or max value so now this is the use case so let's take this data to put it into the power bi and let's try to solve that problem so let's jump onto the power bi and get this data okay so this problem can be solved both in dax as well as power query so let's try to first find out it in power query how we are going to do it so in power query what what i need i need a, a new column uh, where i can you know have this you know two two columns and based on that conditional so should i write down each and every column if and all this so i said that's going to be really challenging so what i thought why don't i create a table and then i filter this table find out a max and do all those things okay so let's go ahead and then you know do that so go to the add column and then create a custom column now i'll create this let's say as a max column like all it is a max one so i said table dot columns and table from columns now the reason for taking table from columns is basically that when i take table from columns it can actually take the list of the uh, co columns as a list okay so that's what i wanted so uh, what i want i will create a, a list and then you know uh, i can give that so i start my list so in my list first of all i'll give the column which is let's say uh, test to test 1 okay then i'll give test 2 then i'll give test 3 then i'll give another list basically which is value 1 comma value 2 comma value 3 i control this list i finish of this list list and then i finish of this list then i give comma and then i supposed to give the list of the names so let me give that value as let's say test and let me call it as value let's see what happens okay so we got a table here so now you can see i got a table here okay yes 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 no yes no yes no okay so we got it now no, there is no test here uh, we got a null null set also now let's go ahead and do one thing now let's make it little bit more actually step wise process so to make it is a step wise process i need to introduce let and then i can call it as a tab table let's say table 1 or something let's say tab 1 equals to this thing and then i can say in and i can say underscore tab1 i should not have named it as underscore tab1 okay so let me see is it working still fine that works so now let's go ahead and do another step so now what i want is i actually want to filter so i'll still do the at the same place table dot um select rows and then i can give condition 
I say each and what is what should I say test equals to yes okay let's see what happens now so we'll get this okay then what we are going to do here is let's bring in few more variety to this and then we will say table dot max comma which column value column so we got a record here okay then what we are going to do is here alt, alt enter now let's look is there only nowhere we should have got blank we should have got a blank here let's see why we are not getting a blank here. 140 now you're getting yes here okay we oh, 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 have a yes here yes 140 and then we have no and there is no value actually so what we are going to do is let's make it let's go to the excel and let's make this one also as no and see if we can get a blank value so let's refresh this data home page refresh preview So I realized the sheet name has changed. Okay. So the sheet name is basically changed here. So let me make the sheet name as max data and then try out. Okay. Everything is correct. Let's go till the last step and then let's look at the record and then there is a null record. Now this null record is going to create a problem for us. Let's look at that. Now let's go to the null record alt. Let's enter and then say underscore tab two and equals to record dot field and then record dot field and then what what field we have we have two fields and one of the field is value so we'll call it record dot field which is underscore tab one comma value let's try out this and then give a comma here so that we return it and let's see does it error so this gives an error here okay here it is 150 okay let's look at what should the first row should give us in excel 150 yes because no is 170 so 150 then uh, here we will get yes 180 and yes 180 because 200 value 4 why not 200 value 4 Oh, because we have not included this okay so let's go here and check how many columns we have included so we included only four so let's three let's include the fourth one also test four and the value four now let's now it is correct 130 so here it should be this is no so this is yes 130 so and this is again no so it's going to be 120 fine now this is error to so how to handle this and that's why i created this letter in so we'll say try otherwise zero let's see now now we got it so let's say close and apply let's look at the table so we got 150 we got 200 this is 130 because this is no third value is no which is 190 second value is no which is 190 so 130 and 120 this is 120 this is only no this is yes and this is yes so now we want the same solution to be done in dex 
So now what we are going to do is we are going to approach this problem in the similar manner in the DAX also. So let's create a new column here. Now how do I create a table here? So I need to create it with union. And I for each row I need to add those columns. So what I'm going to call test. And I'm going to take test one. Then I, I need to call second column as value. And I need to take value one. And I need to union all these four values. Isn't it? So let me copy paste these. Okay, now two, three, four, two, three, four. So now we got our table. Now here index, I will not be able to display table unlike uh, Power Query. So I got a table which has the test values and the values. Okay, then I need a filter. Filter what? Filter that test should be yes. Then what I need? I need max value. So I can put this inside the max x and you can actually divide it by using the variables. I'm doing it in one step, but that's not needed. Then I'll say, okay, which one I need? I need the value max of the value. Okay. And I let me call it max two. I got similar set of value other than blank and in DAX it is pretty simple add plus zero. So we got it. So same solution we have done in power query, same solution we have done in DAX. So there are multiple set of columns. We clubbed up all those columns and we used a filter on a different column than what we are wanted to have min or max and then using that filter using getting the min function or max function whatever you need you we got the value so go ahead and try this out do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series thanks for watching this video thank you keep watching keep asking questions in comments subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos thank you